got babies like this, yes. my love. I, I, I was like, where is she? I told you to be here at 6 30. Uh, no, no, no. I was here. Uh-huh. I've been here since. So. Yeah, hey, she has been here since. So, like, you, you guys so here. Busy. You were so busy on the radio. So. You, you see, you see, she's <laughs> been here. But let me just you, right? The Big Friday show is six months. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, big congratulations, darling. Thank you, baby. Do you know what? I actually <laughs> literally had the intention to just let you know how proud I am oh, of thank you. you, baby. Like your growth is amazing. Oh. I can't like I can't I can't believe that oh. it's six months already. It has been you're doing thank, big things, girl. Thank you so much. Your voice is amazing. I love it. <laughs> so um Didi, I have a question with my um people. Um, on the air so there have been a very recent conversation with Didi like several sexual abuse um, accusations Mm -hmm. and very recently a few weeks ago Casey um, one of his exes Mm -hmm. came out to lay a couple of claims oh Didi did this Mm -hmm. Didi violated me he sexually abused me he would tell me to cut my hair he was controlling domestic a lot and a lot Mm -hmm. and this is one story I was very interested in I'll go on YouTube I'm like okay let me watch too let me get to know more about this and boom in a few in a few days we're hearing she's withdrawing the case mm-hmm. because she's been paid mm-hmm. now that's okay I'm trying to sleep back in my bed only for a, a minor to come up and accuse Didi again of sexual abuse mm-hmm. so my story with my people is what is that one big trouble you've gotten into that you didn't think you'd come out alive because this is a trouble that can take him to jail. Like, this is Puff, the big Puff Daddy that we know. Imagine how that would feel. He might get out of it. He might not. But I'm just mm. saying, like, what's that big trouble you've got into that you just didn't think you'd come out from? Well, to be honest, there was almost a time that I was, will I say successfully being blackmailed? <laughs> yeah. Like, there was a time that it would have been successful. But- <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, talking about black men, I've, I've had like very funny um, emails. I think that happens when it, it seems like maybe Tatcha has gotten something or just, oh, you mm. just post something. Mm. You just get this email. We have your nudes. We are going to post it. And I'm like, okay, how are you going to have nudes? I didn't take. Mm. <laughs> Are you planning to spiritually <laughs> take the notes of me and post it? I'm like, look at this drunkard. Go ahead, I'll post whatever you have. Like, are you serious? I'm going to like it if I see it. Are you serious? <laughs> but anyways, that aside, how's 2023 been for you so far? What has, has been, been your biggest lesson? Oh, my biggest lesson has been I shouldn't get too comfortable in one position. Mm-hmm. I should always constantly re-evolve myself and reinvent myself. And that's really what this year has been for me. Amazing. Reinventing and learning and learning more. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, so the Big Friday show, yeah, is like we just in and just at our people. It's not a, an interview mm-hmm. kind of session. So mm-hmm. you can always feel free to throw me ask questions, um, so. questions. Yeah. Right. So for me, what would I say about 23? I, I think I've learned to um, just understand that everything happens with time and mm-hmm. everybody do have their time mm-hmm. and all you need to do is chill and keep trusting the process yes. as long as you're putting in the work. I think mm-hmm. that's what I would say Change and 3 has um, done for me. How's it been? I mean with your show, you know what happens now like once in two weeks there's some serious dragging going once on. In How do you weeks, even deal with the once online every bullies? Week, once every week for real. If not um, every day in a week. It's literally <laughs> something that I won't say that I'm new to because I've been in the game for a while you know so yes you, you you do get a troll here and there but this constant trolling um yes is very very new to me um to be honest I have believed that people who are on the internet are not necessarily people who are like you know like real life people the people that matter so because you're on the internet you don't pay my bills you don't know me personally mm-hmm. so I'm not necessarily going to be too offended by what you say. Mm-hmm. So that's just pretty much it. Like I, I t- Exactly, because they were dragging you very recently. I don't know. What did you say about men? Oh, that men don't have sense. Exactly. But and they, they were like, what is, <laughs> they were like, and they were like, what is more saying? Da, da, da. It's like, okay. But, but you guys know most of you, or some of you, let me not say most. Some of, you don't, have some sense. of you don't have sense. <laughs> exactly. And you know. So tell me what's that one no sense kind of man situation you've uh, experienced. I feel it is how they have these double standards. You know, it's okay for you to... Okay, like a good example. There was a time when I said um, women, or at least for me, I have men for different reasons. Mm-hmm. And, you know, automatically, everyone obviously would think, oh, yes, it's money <coughs> or it's 
other room activities. Okay. But I was even talking about other things. I was like, <laughs> like, isn't that not even a bad thing as a man to think that those are the only two things that you can actually offer? Exactly. That there, yeah, that says so much about you. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, so I, I, I feel that, um, as I said, I don't really get offended with all these, all these trolls because I know exactly what I'm saying and you have chosen to understand it in your own way. And there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> I was having a conversation with Boy Spice just this afternoon and he said, no, I don't like Twitter. The trolling day is too much. Yeah. I don't want to have any videos. And I said, listen, right? you can't say you don't want to have anything to do with Twitter. They would always drag. They always. would always rearrange your narrative. You mm-hmm. put out a very harmless post. Yes. People would come and say, oh, it is because of this reason. Now, funny enough, I did a video. So I had this meet and greet on Sunday. And I was like, you know what? Before we get there, maybe we could do like a little runway video. Mm-hmm. Just streets of Lagos looking very nice, cinematic. You have your background blood out and stuff. And then I had my range there. I'm like, oh, you know what? Like, we could walk and have the rain oh, move yes. in the back. You were trending. Oh, my Oh my God, and it was the biggest news last week. Everyone mm. is saying, oh, you posted your car because someone has posted it. Mm. And I'm like, who the F is you? Do you understand what I mean? Like, I don't understand. If you, if you I, have I, your own car, you John, can post it. Do you understand what I mean? Like, why do you people, why do you, why are you so shallow with the way you think? Mm. And then it's not a problem if you're shallow. I don't care about you like that. But when you're not shallow, you now want to come and put your shallowness in me. In me yeah. And the tweet I put out, like, mm-hmm. why can't I put out something that is just a random caption? Why must it be attached to somebody? But the thing is, would never win and they're always going to be there. And that's okay. For me, I feel I, like yeah. the internet in general, or let me just say the internet in Nigeria, the internet in general just doesn't seem to like when outspoken you're progressing. women. Outspoken women. As long as you're a woman that's coming out to say, this is what I like, this is what I don't like, this is what I want, this is what I don't want, mm-mm, the internet doesn't like it. Exactly. Because <laughs> I, I was practicing in the bathroom this morning and I said, oh God, how am I going to introduce more? I said, okay, <laughs> I'm having more, one of the bad B, outspoken, <laughs> beautiful lady. That's what reminded me. So most people don't like outspoken, yep. bold people. Mm. They pretend like they love real people, but in the yes. real sense of things, they don't. They don't. When, they want you to be honesty, fake. Everything that I've actually honestly said in my podcast has been my personal opinion. They're not necessarily outright facts, but that's my point of view. Exactly, from my experiences. So from my experience, this is what <laughs> I believe. And from your own, you can you can disagree. And that's okay. Like, go and make up your own show and feel however way. <laughs> and talk about other thing, things that you know, that you want to talk about. <laughs> did you see the story of the 33-year-old model that got married to the 57-year-old oh, man? Oh, yes, I did. And a lot of nectisms had several feelings or different mm-hmm. feelings to it. What do you think? Do you have, like, an aid bracket when it comes to marriage? Um, To be honest... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> like, I've always, in, in, in all honesty, I've always liked my men older. You know, because... And that's just me and my personal preference. And that's just what I like, you know. So, to be honest, when I swear, I'm like, why are they making such a big deal out of this? Like, she's found love, she's found love. Like, it's okay. And there were people trying to push the narrative that there's no way she loves the mm, man. It is better to money. cry in a Rolls Royce than to... I'm mm. like, what is you people even saying? What if she actually does like him? Because, you know, there's how likeness works. So, you can say, I don't like this person. And, and then, you yes. get to start talking to the person before you know... You're starting to like the person. Exactly. That, 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 that always happens. That always happens. You know, like how they always say opposites attracts as well. So based on that, that could have been what the case was. So what if she actually does love him? Yeah. What is, what is you people's problem? But anyways, let's, um, let's get right straight into um, a jail of truths. So, oh, gosh. Ex- okay. ex- yeah, exactly. It's a new session of the Big Friday show. So you're just going to pick a random question or, or no, a random number from number 1 to 16. And I'm gonna shoot. So let go. One to sixteen more. Pick something Let's for me. Let's have eleven. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> have you returned a present before, and why? Have I returned a present, and why? Hmm. That's the thing. To be honest, no. It's not really my nature to do that. Oh, so what if the person asks you, like, "Can I get my present back?" Yo, you're, you're very Imagine silly. You- <laughs> you're very silly. That's you're very, very silly to ask. Yes. Okay. That's very petty. Okay, so... so, so why you, did you give it to me if you know that you're going to ask for it if all doesn't go well? 
So you got a ring, right? And something pop up. You guys aren't settling down together anymore. And That's he says, different. I need my ring. He bought you like 10 million different. or something like that. That engagement ring. No, that one is different. You return. I actually would not return though. You would? You wouldn't? No, no, I wouldn't. would. I definitely would. I, I feel wouldn't. like that ring is a representation of the apparent union that you were to have. I know that's that, that, but the apparent union you know, is not happening again now. Yeah, so that's why the ring should not happen again for you too now. But it can be sold. <laughs> you know what? You're, you're petty. You think differently. You're petty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so give me another number. Uh, let's go for uh, seven. Seven. Okay, so after this, you're, you're going to make me pick random um, numbers as well. Seven. What secret have you never told to anyone? Um... That's why it's a secret. <laughs> you see, because I love you, I didn't, I didn't give you the other, the other condition of this show. If you don't answer no question, you get to, you get to drop a hundred dollars. Ah, we'll not study from this episode this because, you're, because you're my girl <laughs> yeah, from other episodes. So what secret does nobody know? You could just tell us something's popping up nested, kind of like what you were saying oh, offline. Okay, yes, I'm. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to be um, executive producing my own movie. Yay! A round of applause. They are panicking. We have just few minutes left on air. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, okay, so, so yeah, be, give me two numbers. Turn. Yeah, so, so yeah, we you, can wrap up. You choose between one and. Uh, Lord have mercy, two. <laughs> Okay, what's your biggest fear? Oh, I like that question. Oh my God, what is my biggest fear? I would say losing my only parent, which is my dad. Aww. Yeah. So question two. Okay. Um, let me see, nine. Hey, God. When last did your relationship break down and why? Lord have mercy. Ah, oh, God. Okay, so the relationship I'm in right now, mm. we're always breaking up. Mm. Probably maybe like two, two weeks or, or three, three weeks. We'll break up, come back, break up, break come, up, come back. Up. But okay. I mean, if I have to hit on my last relationship, what, what made us break up? Now, nah, it was just being um, deliberately busy. You know now, you know when a boy will like you know like scoop out from the relationship and still be pretending as if he's in there. Mm. Oh, I was busy, that's why it is. Oh, I was busy, that's mm. why it is. Oh. Mm. But now he listens to me every Friday on the Big Friday show. Hey. <laughs> That's how you get them back. Yeah. Mm. All right. So pick pick one random question there. Ooh. For you though. Help me with the phone's so, locked. So pick. pick I, oh, number. I should pick yeah. one. Oh, I think I liked number was it two or three? Yes, three. So let's go with three. Um let me see. Are you even serious right now? No, because it's three I've I've read out. Oh sorry, two, two, two then. What was the last time you cried? Oh wow. Um, I cry like every week though. I don't really cry. <laughs> They're laughing at me. I, do you know what? I could actually believe that. I could Honestly, actually believe I that for you. But someone like me, oh, to be honest, but I tend to cry when I'm in the shower. Like when I'm like, you know, deep in thought. Like when I'm in the shower, I don't know why I'm always thinking so deeply. So, and I had a shower today. So does that mean I cried today? <laughs> yeah, that might mean so. <laughs> okay, one last question for you and then you go two for me and then we um, wrap up. <laughs> go on, love. Okay, All I right. pick. Um, let me go name. for number nine. Um, yeah, I did. You oh, asked me that. Nine? Yeah, last Sorry. relationship. Number seven. No, it was seven I asked, did we? Uh, yeah, so, but you have eight. What were, yeah. Okay, what? number ten. All righty. And what's your dream life? Oh, my dream life is just being so successful that I literally don't need anyone. Amazing. I love that. No one, apart from God. You currently don't need no one, though. Yeah. But yeah, the dream but life is coming. Where really, is really, really don't need nobody. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, right, DV. All right, Juan. So two All questions right. for me, what and then you? we wrap up. One minute. <laughs> um, so, so, so choose one. Choose a number. Four, 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 four. All right. Um, four or six. What's your biggest fantasy? Oh, Lord have mercy. I, I mean, just... Um, um, Basically, just having a beautiful family. That sounds crazy, Aww. right? Honestly, because I do have cash Aww. now. I can't even say nothing about cash. Mm. But more money. Yeah, that's my more biggest money. fantasy. Honest, more money. Is, is more money. money. Changes, is changes. money really actually ever enough, though? The money is never enough. It's never enough. Do you get what I mean? Uh, <laughs> the needs just keeps arising every day. Mm. Okay, and then I think you said number six. What's yeah. the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Lord have mercy. What is so strange? An octopus is not strange now. No, no. Uh, uh, so that's calamari. <laughs> <laughs> I just see something. What is so strange? Oh, Lord have mercy. 
I think I think it would it would have to be a strange combination though. Mm. So that's the last time I was in um Benin Republic. Okay. So I had like puff and rice and beans. Okay. Sounds so no, not that's not okay. okay that but yeah, that's so what I had. Strange though. Puff, 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 literally and rice and beans. Jesus that does sound Christ. so strange. Was that like a sauce? On it, yeah. <laughs> sound that bad. <laughs> the strangest thing that I can tell you that I've eaten, I can't remember what they call this animal, but it, it was in South Africa. Oh. And there's this place, oh, I can't remember the restaurant, but they basically sell like meat, like, like, you have, you like antelope. Not yes, yet. I have. How did it taste like? Not nice. I've seen so many YouTube videos. Like not nice. It was actually at a sushi bar, and the su- the, 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 the the sushi bar is called Yo Sushi, and it's not just fish. It's literally meat. Chicken, everything raw. Wow. And you have to try it. Oh, my yeah. God. You guys, I and Mo need to continue this episode <laughs> of air, honestly. But you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. For everybody that won, I love you guys so much. The Big Friday show is six months today. I would not be six months without you guys. Thank you so much, love. I love you guys so much. Make sure you connect with me on social media. Um, I'd simply touch. I connect with Mo. Mo yes, Moe, baby. M-O-E-T-A-B-E-B-E. Amazing, you guys. Make sure you follow her and stop trolling her. If you continue trolling to that, if story, you, you don't care. We have never cared. We love have you guys so much. And sweet dreams. Kisses. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah.